Assalamu alaikum guys I'm not at the gen yet <laughs> There's a lot of confusing things happening nowadays. Some we're warned about in a hadith like unfit people becoming rulers, others not so much like uh, unfit people becoming world champs. Yeah I'm talking about one of the biggest boxing upsets of recent times. Fat versus muscle and that's when Andy Ruiz knocked out Anthony Joshua four times on the canvas mate four times before becoming the first ever Mexican world heavyweight champion. Now before you guys who don't like sport get ready to click off wait just a minute because this gets really interesting. Now let's look at Anthony Joshua yeah he's tall, he's charismatic, he's chiseled, and he's really well known mate. And then you got this guy yeah, Andy Ruiz. Now this guy is not even verified on Twitter. I mean the banner on his Twitter is a giant Snickers bar for God's sake and it's really blurry. It's not, it's not even like proper resolution, it's quite pixelated. I mean the guy proudly admits to having a chocolate bar before every fight. He's got visible belly folds mate, yeah which we can clearly see in the fight. I mean let's look at these two, you got Anthony Joshua, the guy's got more grooves than him than craters on the moon, this guy's got more bread rolls than a bread factory. <laughs> That's so funny last time I heard that I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. I mean his own promoter whose sole purpose it is to make you look good referred to him as a fat slob. But one of the things that really stood out was despite all of this he was only given six weeks notice about this fight and he was still ready. Now there are a few conspiracy theories circulating about why Anthony Joshua could have lost. Let's have a look at a few yeah and see which one's the most credible. Number one he wanted to take attention away from the Liverpool victory. I mean he has been seen hobnobbing with Manchester United. Number two, maybe he's had a run in with the gym and now they got beef so he's trying to put people off the gym. Number three, maybe because the food industry's lost out and a lot of money yeah because of Ramadan and everything yeah so maybe he's trying to encourage people to start eating again to boost the food industry back up but none of them are as convincing as this. Yes that's right it's the Drake curse. Anyone who meets with Drake before a fight loses. Now what do we learn from all this? We learn that Allah is the best of planners and that sometimes you can have everything on your side but if it's not meant for you it just will not happen no matter what people may think, no matter what society may think. And also don't take pictures with Drake.